Hi, my name is Zach Palmer, and I did my internship at Shinvalee Golf Resort in Newmarket, Virginia. My supervisor's name was Jimmy Gable, who's the golf course superintendent. My goals for the internship were to learn the proper golf course markings, to learn how to set up for tournaments, um, learn how to keep the records for expenses and vendors, inventory management, which required me to place orders for the golf course, and establish more connections in the sports industry. Um, I think I met most all of my goals, maybe not so much the making connections in the sports industry, uh, because I really didn't have too many people with similar interests, and most of the people working at that golf course had been there for um, some people had been there for 30 years, which was absolutely crazy to me. Uh, did my experience meet my expectations? You know, I have to say I didn't really have high expectations going into this. I had to scramble to find this internship after finding out my internship that I originally had was canceled. The strengths, though... I think my main strength was my supervisor. My supervisor was great, and he really did c care about my professional development and helping me succeed into the future after the internship with him. The weaknesses, uh, as I mentioned, uh, people were working there for 30 years, and they almost it almost felt like people resented new ideas and any change in the workplace, and, which made it tough. And oftentimes very annoying. Uh, I learned I learned one thing about myself is that based on the way that uh, golf course was run, I gained a lot of confidence in my ability to be a leader and my skill set compared to a lot of the people in the management positions there just almost felt like they weren't qualified and I'm almost just as, I felt just as qualified to be in a management position as they were and that's big for me because like confidence is something I've always struggled with a little bit I know I can be very confident in a lot of things but there's also a lot of ways that I'm not very confident uh this experience enhanced my strengths as I said just understanding that I am capable of, of doing a lot of things and being a leader in this industry, in the sports industry. Uh, my weaknesses, I think my biggest weaknesses, my social skills at time, and that showed true when I had to speak on the phone with some of the vendors that we interacted with. Oftentimes I would have to place work orders and I didn't always know the answers to their questions and like a lot oftentimes my anxiety kicks in which I can get a little nervous and like not really know what to say to people sometimes so I think that was my biggest weakness uh, the next step in my professional development outside the classroom after completing this internship I'm certainly looking for a job and have been looking for jobs specifically in the tennis industry which is what I had originally planned on doing my internship with. Um, I wouldn't say this internship itself had a immense impact on my future professional choice or career path but what I will what I will say is my supervisor really did care for my future and he would let me work on my resume or he would let me look for jobs and apply for jobs when we had free time. Specific challenges that were presented to me. Um, just the people I worked with weren't always easy to work with. Like I said, they, resent, they, they, they were resentful and they didn't always seem to be the friendliest people, which was really annoying and can actually like be a burden on my mental health like it wasn't always fun working with some of the people would I do anything differently in pursuit of this experience absolutely uh it certainly wasn't my first choice to be working at that golf course but I was 
appreciative that I was able to get that out of the way so an internship isn't going to hinder me from getting a full-time job. Um, I feel ready to get a full-time job after my four years in college. Would I recommend this to JMU Sport and Recreation Management students? I would say not particularly unless somebody is looking to work in golf and um, maybe they're struggling to find an internship or in a similar situation, which I, I can't imagine to be true, a similar situation to what this group of internship students has had to go through. But uh, if they are looking to go into like the golf industry and maybe with the USGA or something along the lines, like it might not be a bad internship for them but like I said for me that's definitely not the path I'm looking to take but overall I'm I'm glad I did my internship with the golf course and I'm, I'm glad to have an internship knocked out so I can start looking for future jobs